Okay, so I just filmed a tutorial on the makeup that I wore Halloween night when I was a sailor, which was Friday night. Um, but I kind of toned it down a little bit because I wanted it to be something you guys could wear on a night out without it being crazy. So this is a toned down, no fake eyelashes version of my Halloween night when I was dressed as a sailor, which was really cute by the way. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Okay, so I feel so weird. It's been like so long since I've done a tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start off with Max Artifacts Paint Pot, which is like a dark purple. If I had a navy blue, I would use that for this, but I don't. So I'm just using a dark purple, which kind of does the same thing. And I'm just putting this all over the lid with my finger. It can be a little bit messy. It's just the base. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 242 brush from MAC and Tan Pigment, which looks like this. It's one of my favorite pigments from MAC. From MAC. It's like a tan, gold, shimmery color. I love it. It's the very first one that I bought in full size, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and we're going to put this all over the inner half. blending it in pretty well to the artifacts. And tan pigment over artifact is actually really pretty. It pulls out the pink undertones in the pigment and just makes it really, really pretty. Next, we are going to take a dark blue color. The one I'm using is this one, which is Blue Flame from MAC. I think well, I know. It was limited edition with the Cool Heat collection, I think. Um, so you can't get it anymore, but any dark blue navy color would work. This is just what I have on hand. So I'm using my 239 brush, and I'm just going to put that on the outer half and blending it really well into that tan. And you kind of need to be cautious with the way that you shape this outer area because this color is very dark. So it will be hard to fix. You ha might have to fix it with foundation after a little bit. So blend that really well into the tan. And what I like to do on the other eye is I took the brush that had the tan actually and I pull the tan over to the blue. Because so you don't want too much blue. Next, I'm going to take my 222 brush, and I'm going to mix a really dark purple with a really dark blue. So what I'm using is, this is Top Hat, it has some blue in it, and then this one is Prussian. Both of these are no longer available, I'm sorry, but any dark purple or dark blue that you have on hand in a palette or anything would work for this. And I'm just going to kind of darken that outer corner. I'm getting some fallout, so I'm going to have to fix that with foundation after. And I'm using Brulee for MAC. It's kind of my go-to highlight color. My phone keeps vibrating. It's annoying me. I'm really hot. And then for underneath my eyes, I'm just going to take MAC's 219 brush. It's a pencil brush like this. And I'm going to take a little bit of that purple and a little bit of that dark blue that I used in the crease underneath my eyes and then I'm also going to take a little bit of tan pigment for that inner part so to clean up this mess that I made over here I'm just going to take my foundation brush brush which is the 190 from MAC and my foundation of choice which is Clinique even better foundation and I'm just gonna score a tiny little bit directly on the brush like a very little amount Do you see that tiny tiny bit and I'm gonna just put that directly over all of this outer corner now if I was wanting to be more of a perfectionist I would have actually gotten eye makeup remover 
removed it and then fixed my foundation, but I find that this works pretty much the same way. Okay, for a liner, I'm gonna use Feline Eye Cool from MAC, which is my favorite one. And if anyone's wondering, it's coming out in one of the December collections, I believe, because um, it's limited edition, and I have like 50 because they're, it's my favorite eyeliner of all time. So I'm gonna put this on my waterline, which looks a lot scarier than it actually is. And then I'm also gonna put it on the top And then, um, curl your lashes, which I don't always do in videos, but I try to do in real life. So. Okay. And then, my favorite mascara lately for, like, more dramatic looks is this, uh, Givenchy, um, blah, 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 something. What is this called? Phenomenize. Why did I forget that? Um, and it's the one that looks like the crazy ball from like the Middle Ages. Kind of scary looking, but it works really well for getting all of the lashes. And it makes my lashes really long. It doesn't really give it a whole lot of volume, so if you wanted to pair it with a volumizing mascara, that would probably be good. But it gives me lots of length and lots of coverage. I really, really like it. Okie doke. So I'm going to zoom you guys out. Okay. And um, that's it for the eyes. And then for cheeks, right now I have on some of Lancome's Shimmer Pink Pool, which looks like this. It's a really shimmery focus. Focus. Shimmery pink. You can't really see the shimmers for some reason. This is a really pretty color. I had it in high school and I loved it and I ran out of it, of course. So I re got it recently and I really like it. And then I have a little bit of um, Smooth Marge, Smooth Merge Mineralized Skin Finish over it just to give it some shimmer. And then for lips, I have on Wall. Slim Shine, which is the um, kind of nudish yellow one that is discontinued now. But I normally use Myth lipstick, but I couldn't find it because I always keep it in my like clutches to go out at night and stuff, and so I don't know which one it's in. And then I use Little Vi Luster Glass over it, and I love that combination. And this was actually discontinued recently, so I need to actually buy a couple more to keep them on hand because I love it. So I have these two on my lips. And then I put fake eyelashes on when I did this for real for Halloween, and I made, actually the look was a little bit more dramatic when I wore it for Halloween, just because you can be dramatic when you're, you know, going out for Halloween. But yeah, so I wanted to tone it down just a bit, because this is actually a look that I could wear out on a normal night and not feel like my makeup looked totally ridiculous. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And hopefully I'll be making more videos. I really do miss you guys. I really do miss it. So I'll see you guys very soon. Hearts. I have makeup all over me.